Hello. If you'd like to know why I'm standing on one leg with my eyes closed, continue watching and listening, because there is a very good reason for it. You see, research suggests that uh, the time you can spend standing on one leg is a great predictor of your longevity, how long you will live. It's also a good predictor of overall good health on middle and older aged people. So firstly, I'll explain the good health, then the longevity, and finally discuss the test in relation to brain disease and cognitive decline, dementia. So standing on one leg is very good for your balance, which as one gets older is essential in the prevention of falls. We often hear that old people fall over and this can cause uh, bones to break, hips, legs, maybe arms and collarbones. And as a result, lengthy spells in hospital may be required. As we get older, bones break more easily and they don't heal as quickly or as well as in younger people. According to NHS statistics, falls are among the major causes of debilitating injury as we age, with one third of people over the age of 60 and about half of those in their 80s falling over at least once a year. Injuries caused by falls at home cost the NHS about £450 million every year. So as an almost 50 year old, I need to ensure that my balance remains pretty good. I regularly do karate, which helps uh, a lot and allows me to be able to do this kicking without too much difficulty. Uh, these are round kicks or mawashigeri in Japanese. Unfortunately, if I do more than one kick, I can't kick at head height, only at the mid-level, but I digress there. Standing on one leg helps to practice and improve balance, which in older age, as I said, is important to prevent trips and falls. But I'm standing on one leg with my eyes closed, notice with no shoes. Try it, it's really difficult. Uh, the reason I've got my eyes closed is to try out something I read in some research recently about longevity. You see, researchers into aging think that they can use this test of standing on one leg with the eyes closed as a way of predicting whether someone is at a higher or lower risk of early death in the future. The better one is at standing on one leg or the longer one can stand on one leg, eyes closed, the less risk there is of dying early. I'll explain the research. So back in 1999, the Medical Research Council in the UK started testing 2,760 men and women who at the time of the tests were all 53 years old. They asked the volunteers to do three simple tests. The first was their grip strength, how firmly they could grip or hold something. Secondly, measuring how quickly they could stand upright from sitting without using their hands and to do this multiple times. And thirdly, how long the volunteers could stand on one leg with their eyes closed. 13 years later, when the volunteers were, or at least should have been 66 years old, the researchers discovered that during the 13 years, 177 of the volunteers had died, 88 from cancer, 47 from heart disease and 42 from other causes. When the researchers compared the data from the three tests against those who had died, it was discovered that those who did poorly in the tests, particularly the standing on one leg test, they could only manage two or seconds or so on average, they were three times more likely to have died over the next 13 years than those who could stay standing for 10 seconds or more. Hence, the researchers suggested that the one leg standing test is a good predictor of, of longevity as people hit their 50s. Now let's consider why the eyes closed test makes standing on one leg so difficult. Well, the brain uses three types of information to keep you standing up. Um, firstly, the ears play a big role in this. Something called the vestibular system works like a spirit level, uh, which a, a builder might use. 
Um, and the vestibular system constantly tells your brain whether or not your head is in the upright position. In addition, your brain also receives feedback from your joints and muscles to help you maintain balance. And lastly, your eyes. These give your brain an accurate measure of where your head and body are in respect to your surroundings. When you close your eyes, you remove vision from the three mechanisms used to keep balanced. And that is why many people find it difficult to stand on one leg with their eyes closed. On to my third point now, uh, one leg standing in relation to brain health and brain disease um, like dementia and perhaps Alzheimer's. Another research study published in an American journal found that the ability to balance on one leg is an important test of brain health. Uh, the, the main researcher, uh, Yasuharu Tabara from Kyoto University School of Medicine, found that poor balance on one leg may indicate an increased risk of brain disease and cognitive decline, dementia and Alzheimer's. In the study, over 1,300 men and women with an average age of 67 were asked to stand on one leg with their eyes open. Uh, the maximum time from two attempts for keeping the leg raised was 60 seconds for these people. The test uh, subjects then had their brains scanned using a brain magnetic resonance imaging machine to see if they were suffering from, I don't want to get too technical here, uh, but suffering from problems with brain, the brain receiving the necessary quantities of blood um, because of potential damage to blood vessels. Um, a lack of oxygenated blood going to the brain will accelerate cognitive decline. And the researchers found a clear link. The less time one could stand on one leg, the more blood vessel damage had occurred and thus a higher risk of cognitive decline. Now the type of research I've described here has led to advice about keeping your, your balance healthy regardless of age. If you look at the video again of me standing on one leg, you'll see how much movement is happening in my lower leg below the knee uh, and the ankle and foot. That movement is the muscles working like crazy to keep me standing upright. So if you're standing in a queue in a shop or maybe at an airport, stand on one leg. If you're brushing your teeth, do it on one leg. Um, you know, that'll all help you to keep your healthy balance. In fact, the only place I wouldn't recommend standing on one leg is in a bar with a drink in your hand. Obviously, you might spill your drink. To end with, here's a, a list created by American researchers to measure the average time people manage to stand on one leg for both eyes open and eyes closed. And these are at various age ranges. So under 40 with eyes open, averaged 45 seconds and eyes closed, 15 seconds. 40 to 49 years old with eyes open, averaged 42 seconds, eyes closed, 13 seconds. 50 to 59 years old with eyes open, averaged 41 seconds, eyes closed, 8 seconds. And then when we get into the 60s, 60 to 69, you'll notice quite a steep decline. Um, at that age with eyes open, people averaged just 32 seconds and with eyes closed only four seconds and then from 70 to 79 22 seconds with eyes open and just three seconds with eyes closed so those are the averages uh, for what people actually achieved so i think if you're looking to remain healthy for longer you should aim to be quite a way above those averages thank you